of years. We've only documented it for centuries. So this extraterrestrial species isn't extraterrestrial. And this is the subject matter of archaics. This is the subject matter of thousands of data points that I have put out and put together hundreds of data sets for everybody to see that we are in a contained realm. We are not on a world. We're in a realm. This is all structured. And the sky is nothing but an overlapping series of holographic templates that you believe is a cosmos. But that's because it's designed for you to believe that. It says we are inside of a construct and we're not the only ones trapped here. Something has moved underground thousands of years ago and they're in there and, they're, and they like it down there better. And the reason is, is that there's 10 times more real estate in the underworld than there is on the surface world. And on the surface world, we live in what's called the biosphere. The biosphere is a thin skin. The highest mountain in the world is, tw is 12 miles high. The deepest area of the Marianas Trench is 12 miles. So, excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, six miles. So we have a 12 mile thin skin that humans can move in. But we can't go to the bottom of the ocean. Pressure would kill us. We can't go to go to the height of the sky. Can't breathe up there. We can't even get past the Van Allen belts. Yeah, that's why I don't believe we've ever been to the moon. Humans can't go through the Van Allen belts. You'll get irradiated. This is why the Russians knew that the whole Apollo program was absolute bullshit. Is because they fried all their dogs and all their monkeys. Every time they sent a rocket into space, when the capsule came back down, the Russians published this. Their monkeys and their dogs were fried to death because nothing living can escape the Van Allen belt, radiation belt. No, no, nobody in 1969 had prepared. The equipment wasn't prepared to deal with that level of radiation. No astronauts ever went through that belt and made it to the moon. That was all, that was all smoke and mirrors. And they had, they had 95% of NASA's employees were completely hoodwinked because they all believed the program was real. And they all went through the motions and they were all paid to do their jobs. And they watched their screens. They watched the telemetry. The engineers for the rockets believed the rockets were really going. Every bit of it, they were hoodwinked. Only the top two, three, or maybe 5% of the people at NASA actually knew that no men were ever put in those rockets and those rockets never made it to the moon. They splashed in the Atlantic. So it's a, yeah, I'm not on board with the Galactic Federation. This is an easy way for YouTubers to get on there and make any claims they want to without any substantiation. There is no way that anybody can ever verify anything that is said about the Galactic Federation. Everything is by channeling. Everything is by dreams. Everything is by, is all these. And if there was a, if there was a technologically advanced extraterrestrial race, they would not need permission to do whatever they wanted to do. Because if they were already here, they could do whatever they wanted to do. But I don't believe we live in the solar system. And I know there's a lot of people who believe in the Galactic Federation and, but they just can't provide any proof or evidence of it. Dreams and channeling is not evidence of anything. When all the historical records, all the texts, all, all the things that we actually do have promote the idea that there's a non-human race living in our underworld and they're technologically advanced and they have been advanced for thousands of years and they are continually perpetuating the deception that UFOs are coming from space because they want everybody on the surface to look up because all the activity is below them. Now, we have elite people in our government who, who know and, pro and they're probably working on different uh, black ops programs with this race. But the whole human abduction program of UFOs is from our world. It's not. UFOs are not seen going in and out the atmosphere. UFOs are seen going in and out of bodies of water. Yeah. All, the time, all the time. So these people that are getting abducted by UFOs are going to underground facilities. In those, on some of these people through uh, uh, retrogressive hypnosis and all that, some of these people have been able to pull data from those experiences into their conscious minds through through hypnosis. And what they saw were men wearing black suits just walking around with doctors wearing white suits, walking around with these alien looking creatures. They're not extraterrestrials. They're from this world. They're the original custodians of this world and humans were the intro, were, were the introduced species. This, this whole dynamic of aliens and extraterrestrials is so new only because they understand frames of reference. Let me give you an example. Nothing has changed since the medieval times. That wasn't the mowing devil. That wasn't, that wasn't elves dancing in fairy rings. And that wasn't, and that wasn't trolls and kobolds kidnapping human babies and switching them out. It was them. But because the frames of reference in the medieval and dark age times were more primitive, this is why people called them kobolds and trolls and gnomes and dwarves. And they called them, and they called them elves. But it's the exact same race. Some of the depictions that we have seen in caves from the Neolithic period show those little green men with big heads and big eyes. There's no difference. The only difference is how humans perceive them. They have not changed. It's the more sophisticated humans get. Now, now we have projected their identity as to being extraterrestrials way up in space, coming from other worlds, coming here to do all kinds of things. So this is a, this is the problem I have. 
in, in archaics, if, if, if there's people who want to find evidence of Galactic Federation and all that, you're going to find just the opposite in archaics. You're not going to, you're not going to enjoy my channel. And I got 85, I got 86,000 subs and I'm, and I'm rising and most of them are, are uh, smarter than average and they're not, they're not entertaining that either. It's a, it's adult fantasy is all it is. And there's just no evidence whatsoever that even humans have beyond, been beyond the atmosphere, much less any extraterrestrials coming in and out. And so this is a containment field and it's here for the perpetuation and growth of human immortal souls. We're here to pass through. This, this is what this whole experience is about. It's just passing through.